Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In our previous videos, we discussed ComCell configuration report options. In this video, we will continue discussing the other options. Please like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos. And you can follow us on Instagram. The next option to discuss is, Schedule. You can schedule the ComCell configuration report, to be run at a specific day or time. Click on, Schedule. Schedule details window. Schedule pattern tab. You can schedule the report to run either one time, or daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly as required. We have discussed all these options in detail, in our other video, hence, skipping the tab from discussion. Report Details tab The sub-tabs, that appear here include, all options that we discussed in the Report Selection window. The options, that you already selected in the Report Selection window, are reflected on the sub-tabs. If you change your mind about an option, then you can change the option, from here as well. Notification tab Include as, provides the notification format, that you can choose from. Embedded, will embed the report information in an email, as content. Attachment, will send the report as separate file, in an email attachment. Compress attachment, will compress the report file, in an email attachment. We recommend to select this option, if you have limitation in the file size, to be attached to an email. Available users, displays a list of all the users created in the ComCell. Select the user, or users, who you want to receive the report. Use these options to move the selections around. Users to be notified, displays the users who you selected to receive the report. Send individual emails, select this option to generate the report, so that it includes information only for the entities, such as client computers and media agents, that are visible to each specified user. This option is helpful in MSP environments where tenant administrators want to use one schedule, to generate a report for multiple tenant end users. In this case, each report displays different information, for each tenant end user, according to the entities they have permission to view. Email to recipients. Enter the email addresses of any additional people, who you want to receive the report, apart from the ones selected above. Configure alert. You can generate an alert when this report is generated. Click add alert, to launch the add alert wizard, and configure it. Once done, click OK. To schedule the report, click OK. You will receive a prompt that the report is scheduled successfully. We will now run the report, both in HTML and text format and review them individually. Select HTML, and click Run. Confirmation that the request is submitted, along with job ID is displayed here. For text report, select the output format as text, and click Run. Confirmation that the request is submitted, along with job ID is displayed here. You see the job IDs in the job controller. Depending upon the options selected, and the information to gather, the report generation might take a while to complete. Both the reports are generated successfully. Let's first review the HTML report. The heading displays the type of the report. Date and time the report is generated. ComCell ID and ComCell name, are needed to create support tickets. Report criteria, 
displays the options that have been selected to generate the report. This is the software cache information on the ComServe. This is ComSell Properties Info, where you find a lot of useful information about the ComServe, like the ComServe IP, fully qualified domain name, etc. You have network information here. Blackout window, also called operations window, and global filters are here. You would see the details, if any configured in the environment. These are the license details, the license is available and consumed in the ComCell. Admin schedules are listed here. Alerts configured in the ComCell are listed here with details. Media Agent Config Information is under Media Agent Properties, which display the index cache path and the storage and tape libraries configured. Client Properties Here you will see the client configuration information, and this is very useful for troubleshooting and audit purposes. You see the sub-client content, filters, retention and schedule details here. Further down the report, you have a lot of other config information, like storage policies, storage policy copy properties, deduplication properties and store information, security associations by user groups, registry keys, etc. For some HTML report is good to read data and for some text format is better to read and sort data. HTML report size is much higher compared to text reports. At the end, it is the user's choice to have the report in desired format. Let's review the ComCell configuration report in text format, or better called comma separated value CSV, format. What we discussed in the HTML format, is what is listed here. We will quickly highlight the headings to recap. Here you see the sub-client properties, which has all the config information of an sub-client. Sub-client content and filters are listed here. If you have any queries on the report, put them in the comment box, and we will respond to it at the earliest possibility. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will continue discussing other reports. Please, hit the like button, if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel, if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.